enjoying. Is that getting carried that now? Corey, introduce our vlog for today. I can only carry uh, like 15 minutes. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> welcome to day two of SEMA. I should speak Japanese. Yeah, yeah. Fukumoto san, please introduce us to a few YouTube tutorial lessons. <laughs> Picked up English pretty fast. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good English, man. Yeah, he, you went on the wrong YouTube channel and you learned British English. Yeah. <laughs> should have learned the American. <laughs> Built EAT Civic, Wonder Civic, Toyo Tread Pass. I'm gonna have Ryan tell you more about the car right now, but. Ryan, come tell us about your, this car. So, this right. is the latest project. The latest project. So it's an 85 Civic hatchback. Uh, Brandon Merlot is the owner of the vehicle and he just brought us a fully prepped chassis from Willy Works. So Willy Works went through, restored the entire thing, painted it, um, created things that didn't exist anymore, like, mm -hmm. you know, trims and moldings and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so he brought us that, he brought us the engine, he brought us kind of all the pieces, and then um, we just kind of, I did my all my handiwork in the bay and just finished the car for him. So I just made it, made it happen. Mm -hmm. About three and a half, four weeks it took to, like, really put the whole car together. It's not bad. Yeah, you had a lot of time this year, right? Yeah. This is a B, B16B? It's a B6 CTR engine? Yeah, but it's an 86 and it's a 2 liter. Oh. So basically, yeah, it's uh, it's the formula is good. It's It made 240 horsepower, nice. 165 torque. Oh. So it made a lot of power for what it was. Yeah. It's a Kent's racing engine. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, for a B16B, that's solid. Yeah. yeah. I was I was surprised. I was talking to Brandon and he's like, what do you think it'll make? I'm like, I don't know, probably 210. Mm -hmm. And then it made like 30 over. That's percentage wise, that's like a lot. Yeah, that's crazy. Look the Kinslers, right? Yeah, Kinslers. They're 55 millimeters, so I believe that they're sized about right for a two liter engine. Yeah. So all the plumbing is all XRP. We did all custom fuel system, water lines, oil lines. Um, it's using um, oil cooler, so you know everything's set up for road race. JRZ three-way suspension. These are a pretty penny. Brandon loves JRZs, so mm -hmm. he uses them in all of his cars. Um, the electronics is an AEM Infinity and then one of our PDM chassis harnesses. So we made a custom engine loom to the, with the Auto Sport connector. Um, just kept it simple. There's, it's not running like, you know, it's it's a naturally aspirated. So we yeah. just wanted to ha have it super clean and just to the point, and you know, just keep the car simple and the minimum that it needs to perform the best it can. Pretty much. Yeah, very streetable car still. Yeah. So these are the double R. So this is like a race compound, hard mm -hmm. compound tire. Um, Brandon, like, he, I mean, you know, he like races all of his cars. Yeah, yeah. Whether it's his BMWs, Porsches, Ferraris, whatever, he has all kinds of toys. Mm -hmm. He has Integra and Civic, and he races both of those. So mm -hmm. this will see track duty. I mean, nothing crazy because you have to be able to juggle yeah. a life of racing and, and a billion cars to, <laughs> to race. Yeah. But yeah, spoon brakes. Um, nothing was easy, you know, like these brakes are not necessarily made for an EAT chassis. Yeah. So just getting those to kind of work and, mm. you know, the suspension's weird on this car. It's all pan hard and um, yeah, torsion. torsion. Parts, yeah. So it's it's a old school technology, but I mean, it's got all the best of the best parts on it. You know, the inside, it's kind of like a... The cage has been in here or? Yeah, dude, this is uh, Jared Saganti's work. Oh, that's right. I'll pop the oh yeah, because... So that's what the stickers say. <laughs> Mugen S1.
Yeah, we just wanted to keep it simple, you know, like simple is better for, for Brandon. Brandon's really, he really likes like OEM. Yeah, he's like a very minimalistic guy. Yeah, minimal OEM. He just wants it to like just work. He's not like the last thing that he wants is like a, anything tucked, you know mm. what I mean? So this car is a little bit different than some of our other projects, but I really like this style to be honest. Yeah. It's like a very timeless look that appeals to everybody. Like it's like relatable to a lot of people. Right, so. you can't really go wrong with it. Yeah. And then these cars are like really bad with fuel systems. Uh -huh. um, there's no baffling at all. And like the way that they're, they have a factory external pump. Yeah. So we have an external pump and then we have the radium surge tank with a, another pump inside of it. Oh shit. So you kind of need that to be honest. Yeah. So, I mean, it seems like everything was designed properly because, I mean, it made good power and there was no no, no yeah. hiccups at all. Yeah. What gas was it running when you guys tuned it? 91. Oh, shit. Yeah. And we have a digital dash, AM MXL2. Yeah. Nice. Classic Mugen wheel. Yeah, everything's like, all, all the all the pieces are Mugen. Mm -hmm. he, he even has the body kit and the NR10Rs. Yeah. But we just didn't put it on. And that's coming later, right? Yeah, maybe. I don't yeah. I don't even know if he for sure wants to put the kit on it. I feel like it's fine without it, really. Yeah, me too. Yeah. It's almost like a little overdone at that yeah. point, maybe. Yeah. I like that he kept the, the factory two-tone style. Yeah. Even though it's like an updated paint color. Mm -hmm. It's not like the original red and it's not the original silver. Yeah, and all this stuff but is it's like... it's still the original like colorways. You know? Yeah, and they be able to like, get all this trim pieces and restore it and everything. Dude, this is all restored. Yeah. It's crazy. Like I, I've seen some EA builds recently that are like pretty cool, you know, but you look at the details and everything just looks old. Yeah, they definitely don't make this stuff anymore, right? No, so. they definitely don't. So like all this has been kind of restored yeah. or maybe it's been it's been purchased new but like 10, 15 years ago. Yeah. And then like I mean everything is just like it's still kind of beautiful. It was easy to work with. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the car flows really well. Yep. I'm pretty happy about this. You got a good spot too, so. Yeah, this is a really Right now the lighting is on point. Yeah. yeah. It like shines in here right now. Mm -hmm. This is crazy. Yeah. Other than like the Yokohama display outside, this is probably like one of the best displays here. So. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Cool. Well, congratulations on your hard work again. Thank you. Yeah. It's like I didn't see the car before, but. I know. You, <laughs> we did, we did the stickers. Yeah. We were there for. Yeah. Yeah. I, was, I was there towards the end, so it's yeah. good. It's good that it's here now. So. Yeah, dude. Maybe we have some other plans for it, huh? Yeah. Hopefully. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll see what that we can do. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of excited about that. Yeah. yeah all right. with 11 front face conversion. It's got a TRD body kit. We got a Beams 3 SGE swap in here. Very nicely done. Very clean. So ITVs. Super clean setup. Thank you. 
Beamer World E36 race car. It's got like a V8 engine, which is kind of confusing because it looks like the exhaust manifold is on the top of the engine. And then the intake manifold is down below. See the drive by wire throttle body down there somewhere. It's pretty crazy. I don't understand how it works. Do you get it? couple of pipes here and there just all goes into the same engine but look it's like <laughs> the exhaust manifolds on top because the turbos are right there the intake manifold is down there the drive-by wire throttle bodies are down there so is it like reverse flow or <laughs> it's actually very similar to an indy car so. like the exhaust is on the top yeah, yeah, like the exhaust is so is it an indy car engine <laughs> actually, no. i'm super oh, confu confused i'm confused though. Yeah, look at this arrow. Got concave forge line wheels with super deep hubs. Performance friction calipers. The famous John Sabal's right here. Oh my god. Man right yeah. here. <laughs> I don't know the guy next to him, but. Is this a line where John Sabal's autographs? Yeah, it is. Yeah, to Chris. They got his helper signing right now. Oh man. Oh man, that's epic. I'm gonna throw it. Thank you, Garrett. I appreciate it, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you. They got you signing too? Okay. <laughs> Only for you. Yeah, it's like, all Only right, sure, yeah. Sure, yeah. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, this is a good opportunity for some film action. Yep, there it is. I'm dead. Seema Day sweatpants. I'm dead. You don't you don't have to wear a suit? Oh, it's a Stussy shirt. It's okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. How come you're not signing autographs? Okay, sorry. Um, I'm out. I'm up after them. Oh, okay. okay. Dude, you look tired as fuck. Hey, can, <laughs> can, I, can I drive this around? Yeah, you patch it first. The rest will follow. Yeah. And some sleep later, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> So, how did you get all this shit? I mean, look at these beautiful cars here. So they uh, rolled the cars in. Yeah. They closed the container doors. They dressed it up nice to cover all the seams. Uh -huh. Turned it into the massive forklift. Put it on top. And then, oh, this is actually two containers. Yeah, so two shipping that was right. containers. Oh, they they literally just stacked stops. the containers and then they sealed, they covered the seams. <laughs> they let they the cars strap the down as the door. The strap on the back side. Where are these cars normally though? Like, who uh, owns them? Like, from all different places. The race teams. Was it hard to like find all of them? Uh, one of the motorsport managers uh, actually knows a lot of these where these cars go over time. Oh, so okay. He knew who to contact and reach out to. He just wrapped all the cars in that. No. These were all Advent cars. Yeah, they're actual oh, Advent. Yeah. yeah. The only car that got wrapped just for this was this. Yeah, it's Garrett's oh, car. Oh shit. Okay. That's it. 
But that's the whole thing we wanted to do, right? Talk about the heritage of the brand and really like solidify motorsports legacy and how it you know, trickles down to street. So that's kind of the play here. We have all this historic racing and then the newest street. Oh yeah, this is the chance to start, guys. Yeah, Pikes Peak. Oh, wow. Panos up there. GM3 was one of the most legendary. Yeah. Uh, the question is, where does this display go after? These are probably rented containers. Yeah, these are rental containers. Oh. So, so we can rent them for the next... Fourth of July barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a full Yokohama display. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be sick. We'll put all the shop cars in each container. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we have to forklift all of them because none of them run. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> This Japanese Suzuki Jimny built by the guys from Gretty. The car style. Very cool turbocharged setup. It's a new Volt Racing T37 XT wheels. And some Gretty edition grid seats. You can't see that. I like how they used the Gritty colors integrated into the stripe and the decal. Very cool car. Good exhaust. Fist bump him? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I think my beard is better than him. <laughs> Tristan Haha's ASMCR is brand new, huge Rumbo brakes. Brandon, when are you upgrading your brakes? When are you getting these? Super Madonna, Wide Body NSX. Won the Enios Super Street competition where he actually won a spot to be at SEMA. So this car is just finished recently, I think like maybe a few months ago. It used to be silver, I believe, with ad bands on it. Now it has TEs, a full repaint, and the Super Madonna kit. It also has really expensive and really rare NSX Ganador mirrors. They are legit. Nice color. Olive drab. That's really great against the setting sun. I'm sure there's still plenty of stuff that we haven't seen out here. But the sunset's pretty amazing right now. Look at that. To be honest, when I walked through this part of the show, I had like no expectations. Yeah. There's always something cool though. Like random. Oh, let's go look at the RWV over here. Okay. Yeah. There's always all kinds of weird stuff. Here, you want to roll the dice? Yes. What do you win? Nothing. It's just literally just the thrill of rolling the dice. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. This is what they were doing over there. Yeah, the crazy drifting. The drifting. Look at that black balls thing right there. That's pretty cool. I don't know what that is. That's all here. 
Oh, here we go. It's nice weather now, too. Yeah. Ah, this is uh, Christian's from Seattle. Yeah, Christian Kujin's car. Yeah, look at the RWB wheels. What the world needs now is rough. Yep. Sitting on a baby stroller. Whatever. The 930 RWB. Massive turbo. This one. This one. Yeah, face is on the I might take water. How big this thing is. That is a bunch of them. Sorry, sorry. It's bumping into people. Bag Ferraris all day, I guess. The green one, if you look at it, actually it's a pretty good look. So it's got like oh, it a is. Liberty Walk kit and shit on it. Even the green one is. I just, I personally wouldn't cut up a Ferrari, but it's a good look. But if it was like stock body bagged, I'd drive that shit. Yeah, yeah. why not? Yeah. Why well, I the Reparos, man? That's a ring, bro. Yeah. Fortune Auto booth. This Dodson Fair Lady Roadster build. SR swap. I need SR swap. Mint. How do you feel about your first SEMA experience and your car getting all scratched up? Shit, dude. Let's go look at it. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go over the scratches. Uh, um, yes, here, yes, yes. There's some big ones right here. Yeah. Is that like jeans? Like people's jeans? It could be like a belt. But, have, like, that stick out yeah, yeah, definitely something that like, stuck out of the pocket when they're walking by. And then there's more over here. Okay. What about this side? Oh, no, they just scratched the airbrush. Car. 
pretty crazy. Yeah, you wanted to do SEMA, that's what happens. I mean, can't really... Are you happy with the car, though? Oh, yeah. The car's... What are you going to do with it afterwards? It's You're actually going to drive it around? This is the man that did all the airbrushing, the huh? And did the airbrush. Nice job on the license plate, too. <laughs> <laughs> nice touch. Oh, you like the license plate? Yeah, the license plate's cool. What's up, man? Yeah. Nice nice yeah. yeah. Looks cool. Oh. Here, take over. Hello? Yeah. You got it should be right Becky! Hey. Are you tired? No. How are you doing, dude? I'm, I'm good. I just got here. Yeah, you told me you are coming on Friday. Yeah, right? No, there's no way. No, unless they're trying to look over here for something. I was like, what are yeah. you trying to do? <laughs> He's reenacting. <been> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's just like, whoa! So my key whoa. Over here? Someone oh. just has a really sharp dick. Oh, you, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your mind's going now, isn't it? Oh no, I just like tripped. Yeah. But it's what? cool. We can just fix it, you know, it's like a show. It's a wrap anyways, so. Everybody's here today, huh? Hi. Who are you guys? I don't even know it. It's me, Man. Man. Uh, yeah, I am... From where? No. From I mean, it's like turning around half the time, anyways. Speed so. image. Oh, nice. You so just got in today, right? Or last night? Now. Today? Yeah, I got in just to pick night. up the car? But he was here before, too. He, you were here on Saturday. Yeah, I was here on Saturday. Oh, to unload. Yeah, yeah. We, were, we were both talking about how we were going to try to make it to your, to your yeah. meet. And then in the morning, Tommy was just like, I'm in Vegas. I was like, oh, oh shit. But you made it. I made it. Nice. I, mean, I made it. I actually went. I couldn't, dude. My flight. I had to take a flight home at night. I uh, I drove five hours. I was at the meet for three hours, and I drove five hours back to Arizona. And then the next, and then like, and you came. And like six hours later, I drove to Vegas. How far is Arizona from Vegas? I have no idea. I was oh. asleep for most of the drive. Oh, nice. Yeah. So like, I've been practicing nice. driving for so long that I can drive when I'm asleep. That's oh cool. yeah, I can do that too. Yeah. <laughs> I listen to so many. I'm on episode 27 now. Conser general oh, concern. <laughs> cool are, are you gonna do the parade thing? No. Oh, yeah. 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 Are you? No. The dusty ass car. <laughs> <laughs> wash me on my twin, dude. I don't know. There's I would like. Put, wash I would not. There's like 10,000 people here, so anybody could have done like it. It was clean when I saw it, but I always saw it earlier. So. Yeah. Wait, isn't that like a? Wait, what? We can get on there. Yes, sir. Okay, yeah, so somebody just lost like $400. Yeah. Did you see the red super in the Toyota booth? Somebody broke the wing off of it. No way. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, not the red, the green one. Yeah, the one that five axis did. Like, probably like doing this. They were leaning on it and it broke the corner off of it. So uh, so now it's completely one missing. Of the, one of my buddy's car at the race booth. Um, somebody fucking hands that caught the car. Oh. Uh, what? They caught the what? The, the part there. of the bumper? The, there's like oh. a little thin. They also stole the T thirty seven sample. Just you know how they just have the spoke for color and design. They stole one of those. They took really? Yeah. No, somebody just took away. Oh, dude. No, the section, the spoke, because oh, you know they have the sample sections. Somebody jacked a header from one of the one of the one intake manifolds. Yeah, intake manifold, nitrous oh, express. Also, also a header. Yeah. yeah. From like, like Edelbrock or something. I don't know. Oh, Edelbrock. Yeah. I don't know if that's Edelbrock. It's wild out here, man. Vegas. Regular man. I wonder why. Shit! Somebody jacked the whole car. <laughs> oh yeah, they stole a whole car Saturday night, what and then. They, they, just like they stole it on the trailer, and then there was like a 16 car police chase. Oh, I saw her. Yeah, and then they crashed the trailer, and the car's fucked, but it's still here. They yeah, brought it. it. They got it here in time for Roland, so. Wow, that's yeah. <laughs> the police released it to them. That's so fucked up. Yeah, it's like a Charger or Challenger. Yeah, it's okay. Man, people are the worst, dude. Yep. It's Vegas, dude. Like, we went to the Walgreens the first night just to get toothpaste, and there were people, like, stealing shit from the store, and they got caught, and the cops were in there. <laughs> oh, the first night I was here, there was a, a concert going on, and it was fucking insane. It circus was, like, Circus? No, it was, like, next door. Oh. But, you know what's crazy? So, you know they have, like, headlining artists? Mm -hmm. And it was, like, some shit, some shit, 21 some shit. And, like, Kendrick Lamar was, like... 21 some shit, yeah. yeah. I know that guy. You know him? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. He's not Kendrick Lamar. I'm but he was like a little, he was like small friend. And I was like, man, Vegas is fucked up, dude. I don't want to be here anymore. Yeah, you still have some sweatpants left? Yeah. The brand new Chronicles joggers? Yes, uh, I do, actually. Is that like a female or is it unisex? I sure just worn it. No, it's unisex. Uh, no, yeah, it's yeah. an extra small. Oh, okay. Tommy, we know you used to wear them tight girl jeans back then before they started making <laughs> before they started making skinny jeans back in 2004. This is, it's like a 2430? <laughs> What's going on here? No, dude. <laughs> it's a 21, 2136. 21.